all right hi everyone welcome back to another video on salesforce makes sense and this video is another use case video of record triggered flows which is part of our flow builder masterclass right so let's quickly jump into our problem statement whenever a task is created for a user add a calendar event for the user use a static location and a one hour duration on the due date of the task which means we'll have to add a calendar invite or a calendar event for the user okay and this user is no one but the person who the task has been assigned to all right and this is on the task creation so every time a task is created we create a calendar event okay now what is the duration of the event the duration is one hour okay and when should it be it should be on the due date on the due date of the task all right that's the uh, start date of the event all right and use a static location for now because this can be this is something that can be sourced from the account or the contact wherever you have an address field but we'll put a static location for now let's see and then the challenge is that the calendar event should only be created if the task is associated to an opportunity meaning that if a task record is created but only if it is associated to an opportunity is when we want to create the calendar event if it is associated to let's say lead account contact we don't create the calendar event all right this is only specific to opportunity that's the challenge cool, cool. so let's jump into our salesforce org and create a new flow here and this would be my fifth use case i believe let's say open yeah this is my fifth use case All right, and this again is a record triggered flow because I don't need any kind of screen input from the user and this is on the task object, right? Whenever a record is created is, a, is what I want to do and I simply want to say save. All right, so this would be record triggered flows five and create calendar event on task creation. All right, this is my name of the flow. Let's say save. This will not be activated because nothing is connected. As soon as the task is created, we need to create a calendar event, which means we need to do a create record, right? So I'll simply say create records and I'll say create calendar invite for the task owner, right? So I'll just create one record and I'll say I want to use separate resources so that I can choose my object. So I'll say the object should be event and I can now set each fields here. All right, so the very first field I see here is the duration in minutes. And if you notice, we want the duration to be a one hour duration. So this has to be put in minutes. So I'll simply say 60. All right, who should this be assigned to or who should be the owner? The owner should be the owner of the task record, right? Whoever the task is assigned to should be should see this calendar invite in their particular calendar in Salesforce, right? Now, what is the description? I'll just say due date is here all right follow up what else do we have we need to define a start date event start date right which is the start date time now what should be the start date time it should be nothing but the due date remember we need to do this one hour on the due date so i'll simply choose the activity date all right and then what else do we have do we have the subject field yes we have the subject field so i'll simply choose a subject here and i'll simply say that you know you just need to call the person all right so what i've done essentially here is very quickly i've created an event object record and i've just set the mandatory fields for now let's see if it if it works or not if it does not we'll come back here okay this is as straightforward as it could get and what we've done is we've set a 60 minute uh, duration we have set the owner id as the person who's assigned the task is the person who will be the owner of the event a description is, has been added a subject has been added and there is a start date time which is nothing but the due date of the record okay that's when the event will be starting all right cool let's click on the save button now and let's see if we can activate it all right so i have activated it it's activated let's quickly do the challenge as well it's not very tough so i'd encourage you to pause the video here and try to do the challenge yourself if you cannot do that no worries i'm just showing it right away okay so the calendar event should only be created if the task is associated to an opportunity now how do you understand whether a task is associated to an opportunity is the question right which means you need to check either the what id or the who id correct now which one do you check on the task i believe you have both you only need to choose one right so what we'll do here is we only have to put a decision node as simple as that i want to take a decision is task associated to op right i'll say yes opportunity 
okay now how do i check that so i check the current task in hand and i check the what id here right because who id points to the leads and the contacts whereas the what id points to the accounts and the opportunities right you know the difference between who and what who is a person an entity a living entity which is a person so which means a lead or a customer or a contact right and what is essentially a non non living entity or kind of like an organization or something that's non 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 living so accounts or opportunities so i want to check whether the record dot what id right this is the id it should start with a certain number now did you know that all opportunity records start with a certain character meaning all record ids have a pattern so if you go to accounts and if i go to an account you'll notice that this record id here starts with double zero one right so this is for accounts okay if you go to contacts you'll see that it starts with double zero three let's take a look at that so if you go to contacts the first three digits are always fixed so you see for every contact you have double zero three now what about opportunities similarly for all standard objects you have a predefined set of the first three digits okay and if i take a look at this opportunity you'll see that every opportunity starts with double zero six so all i need to do is check whether the related to id starts with double zero six okay and if it does it means it's an opportunity or else it's not now if it is an opportunity i want to move this particular node here how do i do it i simply say cut and i paste it here fancy cool straightforward very straightforward let's click on the save button let's say activate and what i want to do now is i want to create a task record okay and i want to create that under a opportunity so that we can see whether it works or not so let's click on the new task button and let's create the task with subject email and let's put the due date as 21st and here this would be related to the test sold op okay and the status is not started i'll simply say save all right so if you notice that the task has been created and if i were to take a look at my calendar let's say if let's see if it is in the home page i don't see it on the home page let's take a look at the calendar right we are here and if you notice i think there's something okay no I don't see an event getting created. Ah, it's here. Is this the one? Yeah, this is on the 21st, right? So it starts at four o'clock and it ends at five, which is nothing but the one hour duration that we have given, right? Let's quickly click on this particular event and let's see what is here. See the description is what we put. It is due date is here, right? And then the start date and the end date is on the due date and the subject is a call. All right. And who is it assigned to? Is it, it is assigned to the task owner, which is my record essentially. Okay. And if you wanted to associate it to the opportunity, we can use the related to field. Okay. And I think we forgot to tag the location. It can be a static location. We can simply go back to our flow, open this particular create node, and I can simply add the location value here. Okay. I'll just say the location is currently online. Okay. No physical location available. I'll say save. Okay, I'll say activate. All right. Cool. So that would ensure that a new event has been created and it shows up on your calendar. That's how you check. Right. And that's how you figure out. Okay. Yeah, this is on the 21st and you have the event showing up here. Okay. Great. This was very quick and short. Let me see if I can add more value to this particular use case. Let's see what else could happen here what what if what if you had to set this particular let's change the use case a bit let's see let's put the event as one hour duration but three days after the due date how would you set this particular value so now the event should happen three days after right basically the start date should be the should be due date plus three now how can you do that here can you like uh, do something like record dot due date plus three can you do something like this no it will not work because it will take a static value okay what we want to essentially do is create a formula so i'll just go ahead and say i want to create a formula which is a new resource and i want to say three days after due date all right and here the data type would be date time and here i'll insert the due date first of all okay which is here and then i'll simply say plus three which is nothing but adding three days. 
okay now this is a uh, I believe it has to be a date type and now I can say check syntax this is valid so this is a date and activity date plus three would be the would be three days later okay if you want to change this to a date time function you can simply use the date time value here okay so let's keep it like this for now let's see if the formula accepts it here so I have just say three days after and I can say save save activate so no issues it's saved all right so now three days after the due date is when your start date will be shown meaning if you were to create a flow whose due date was on 21st you will see an event showing up on 24th okay so it will show up on 24th which is three days later all right what if you want to source this particular location information from some uh, variable you can always click on the get records option or you can get it from the task record also right how about the subject i don't want the static subject i want the subject same as what is on the task so i can just bring that subject here right i can do that okay so you can even tag it here all right so we have set all of these fields here and we are able to successfully create a calendar event and this is visible on the calendars of the user right how cool is that you can actually sh create your calendar events from flows set up a location set up a due date set up who this should be assigned to and also ensure that you have a dynamic date time right you can start it some at some time what if you wanted to end it at a certain certain date or time you also have the end date parameter available here okay what if you wanted to ensure that this is a recurring event maybe maybe once every week so you have to ensure that you set the is recurrence as true and you give the recurrence pattern so all of this will be available on the calendar event object on salesforce right so you can take a look at this documentation for you to be able to look at specifically what is your requirement but yes you can can you create calendar events from flows yes you can can you create them them based on your uh, date based logic or dynamic filter yes you can all right that was the idea of you of this use case cool that was all i had from this particular use case i'll see you in the next one till then keep learning bye